Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding gameplay analysis part 4 and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in GSN games over the past couple of years. Also, some of you ask regarding the SQL schema, so this is how it looks like. I will copy paste this in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called activity with four different columns, player ID, device ID, event date and games played. The combined columns, player ID and event date is the primary key of this table. This table shows the activity of players of some games. Each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games, which is which can be possibly zero before logging out on some day using some device. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the fraction of players that logged in again on the day after the day they first logged in, rounded to two decimal places. So basically what it means is we need to count the number of players that logged in for at least two consecutive days starting from their first login date and then divide that number by the total number of players. Okay. So let's go through this example, right? So here, let's see firstly, like for each of the player, what is their first login date? So for player ID one, right? So we have 1st of March 2016 at the first login date. For player ID two, 25th of June 2017. And for player ID three, 2nd of March 2016, right? Now we need to see that which all players logged in the next day as well. Right. So for example, if you look at player ID one, right? So first login was on first of March, 2016. And the next login was on second of March, 2016. So at least two consecutive days, the player ID one logged in, right? So we will count this player ID, right? So there is one player who logged in at least two consecutive days from their first login. For two, since there is only one entry, then obviously this is excluded. For three, there are two entries, right? But the first login was on 2nd of March 2016 and the second login was on 3rd of July 2018. So obviously these are not consecutive dates, so three will be ignored. So one should be divided by how many total players are there in that activity? Three, right? So one divided by three and rounded to two decimal places should be 0 0.33, right? And that is what we have, right? So to do this, the first thing that we should do is for each of the player, right? We need to find out their first login date. Then what we can do is we can make another column, which, which is basically going to have, okay, so this was your first login date and this is the next day, right? So you have that date and then make sure that whether that combination of player ID and date is in this activity table or not. If it is, then you count it. If it is not, then you ignore it, right? So what I'm saying is what we can do is from this table called activity, right? Let's group by, right? So let's group by the player ID, right? And return the player ID, right? So return the player ID and the minimum of event date. So basically trying to get the first login right and let's alias this as first login right so for each of the player id what is their first login right and let's store this in a common table expression so with cte as right uh, and this entire thing goes into parentheses right okay so now once we have this then what we need to do is for each player we got the first login date then we can have a third column right which is basically kind of a next date right so what we can do is from this common table expression right let's return both the columns so select star and then make a third column where basically we are going to add one day to the first login date right so date add which column first login and then interval one day right and we can alias this as next date right let me run this let's see what we are having right so if you look at it you have for each of the player id their first login dates right and then this is their next date right so we have this now what we can do is from this activity table we can see whether these combinations right so player id one and next date is in this activity table whether player id two and this date right is in activity table if it is then you are basically going to count that player as a person who has logged in consecutively at least twice from the day of their login right so what we can do is we can store this thing as well in the common table expressions too so cte2 as 
and then this again goes into parentheses right so once we have this then what we can do is from this activity table right so from this activity table we are only going to keep those rows where the combination of player id and event date is in and then return the player id and next date right so return the player id and next date from common table expression two, right? So once we have this, then let me, you know, for the sake of simplicity, let me write select star right now. Let me run this. Let's see what we are getting right here. We need to put a comma uh, because these are consecutive common table expressions. So yeah. So if you look at it, right? So we have only one of these cases, right? So, and which makes sense because only player ID one and the next day, that is 2nd of March, 2016 is in this table, right? So once we have these, so basically what we can do is if we do count of the, so count of the distinct player ID. So this is going to give us our numerator, right? Which all players at least logged in twice consecutively from the day of their first login. So this is your numerator. And then what we can do is let's put entire thing in parentheses, right? Because this will return you one number and then you need to divide it by the total number of players that we have. Return count of distinct player ID, right? From the activity table, right? So this is going to give us the total number of players in the activity table so we have the numerator we have the denominator then the question says that we need to round it to two decimal places right so we also need to write okay so round this entire thing up to two decimal places right and then we need to return it so we write return this thing right return this entire thing and we need to alias this as fraction right so we write as fraction right okay so yeah this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know for each of the player id we found out like what is their first login date and then we created another column which basically has the next day from their first login date and made sure then whether the combination of player ID and the next login date is in this activity table. If it is, then you count it. If it is not, then anyway, right from because we are filtering it, right? So if this combination is not present, then those rows are not going to be there, right? So we can calculated the numerator, we calculated the denominator. So basically all the players that we have in the activity table, we did the division, rounded up to two decimal places and returned it as a alias of fraction, right? So yeah, let me know if there's a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.